He raped a little girl until she became pregnant, and it would all be discovered at a simple roadblock. You have a bunch of kids in the car. How many kids? You have one, two, three, four, five, six. Who are these kids to you? Uh, this is just my friend. That's your friend? Yeah. How old's your friend? 18. That girl's not 18. Jeremy Guthrie was driving drunk on the motorway, unaware that he was being chased by the police. Hey there. Hello. How are you? All right. Just all right? Yeah. OK. okay. Should we go lessons? From minute one, you could tell he looked lost and nervous. But soon, it would get even harder for him. You took that curve way too fast. I did. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm I thought you were going to crash. I didn't say, I don't think so. I'm just saying, I thought you were going to crash. OK, and then you have a bunch of kids in the, in the car. How many kids? You have one, two, three, four, five, six. Who are these kids to you? Uh, this is just my friend. That's your friend? Yeah. How old's your friend? 18. That girl's not 18? Huh? That girl's not 18? Yeah. No, she's not. That girl's not 18. Trust me. She don't look 18. The situation was already too bizarre. So Jeremy Guthrie was asked to get out of the truck immediately. So Jeremy Guthrie was asked to get out of the truck immediately. Do you, do you think you're safe to drive? Do you think you're safe to drive? Yeah. You do? Absolutely. Once again, you and I would disagree on that, too. I don't think you're safe to drive. Just based, on, just based on, on, on how you're driving. All over I-40, again, going way too fast around that curve, OK? Just stand, stand right here, in front of my car. All those people in the car, who are they? They're just my friends. I, don't, I mean. Do you normally hang out with people who, who are young? Not, how, uh, how old are you? I'm uh, 41. 41, okay. Hang tight right there, okay? The officer quickly made his way to the van to talk to the children inside. There were six of them in total, and their ages ranging in age from 12 to 14. At first glance, there was no evidence that anything was wrong. On fact, they were all in good spirits, and they called their parents to come and pick them up. Meanwhile, Jeremy was failing miserably the field tests to see if he was fit to drive. You understand all the instructions, then you can go ahead and begin, okay? Mrs. Hilato steps offline. Mrs. Hilato. Mrs. Hilato. Mrs. Hilato. Improper turn. Steps offline. Steps offline. Mrs. Hilato. Steps offline. Mrs. Hilato. Mrs. Hilato. Is that 10 steps? I did the nine. Huh? Uh, I'm sorry, I did the nine. Yeah, I know. It, it, I thought you had done uh, 10 on that way back. After several minutes on the road, the man would finally would be arrested, and a terrible nightmare would begin. It would soon be discovered that the little girl who was next to him was really 12 years old and had been raped together with her sister, and that because of these abominable acts, she had become pregnant. It was their grandmother who told how she found out everything. And I got a call that they were all in the car. Uh, there were six, six of them and was with this guy. And so I, I had no clue. She soon learned police charged Guthrie with whipping one of her 13-year-old twin granddaughters. The grandma says the girl was impregnated by Guthrie and suffered a when she was just 12 years old. It makes me sick and I'm livid to what he did to my granddaughters and he's just a very, very sick person. However, despite being arrested and taken to jail for the crimes of rape and drug driving, he continued to maintain contact with his victims. He did not seem to have learned from the atrocities he had committed, but wanted to continue committing them despite the punishment. My, one of my granddaughters was, and she told my other granddaughter that he had contacted her. She sent us these screenshots, she says, is Guthrie messaging one of her granddaughters. 
He asked for money. The grandma says she even asked her granddaughter to send this to see how far he'd go. She told her granddaughter to write, I ran away and asked him to pick her up. He writes back, quote, and how am I supposed to do that when I'm in jail? He's in jail. How the heck is all this happening when he's in jail? Like, that's just, that's crazy. Through the granddaughter, the grandma asks how he's messaging from jail. Guthrie says he paid to use a guard's phone. The grandma claims he also threatened her granddaughters. She says the messages stopped when the granddaughter wrote police knew he was talking to them. The truth is that Guthrie has yet to face justice, but for the crimes he is charged with, the penalties that await him could be very serious indeed. Of course, the continued of a minor, in addition to driving, could mean years and years behind bars for this terrible guy. In addition to all this, there is also a lesson to be learned that the grandmother of one of the victims refers to as a conclusion. Parents, check your kids' social media accounts, their gaming stuff. Uh, you never, I never thought in a million years that this would happen to my family, and it is.